Hey y'all, what's up? It's your boy Evan here. Welcome to the Cartoon Block. And today I'm going to show you guys how to draw Black Manta using Copic markers. Let's get started. So starting out with Black Manta's head, his helmet is like the shape of like a squished ball. You know, take a ball and you squish it. So it's kind of flat, a flat, almost like those old school flying saucers, you know, from the 60s that you would uh, see in those old TV shows like Lost in Space or something. So once I get his eyes in there, I want to go ahead and start just sketching out like the very heavy shadows on his helmet using my C5 wide marker. I love my Copic wide markers because they allow me a lot of freedom to get in, you know, the um, like broad strokes if I need to get in broad strokes. And then I can use the tip, like this section around here where around his goggles, I have to get a little bit more fine. But for him, we want to go ahead and just kind of sketch out the shadow heavy areas on the top of his helmet. And now for his bottom, I guess for the bottom part, you know, of his lower neck and everything and his body, we can use, switch back to our Copic 3, the C3 Cool Marker. And then here I'm just using like the lighter, or the smaller rather, the smaller Copic 3 marker, the uh, C3. And that gives me a, a lighter tone. And then switching back to my darker C5 marker, I can put in a darker tone and get in those nice crisp shadows that I so like to put in on my drawings. And then just using like the C3 again, I'm um, putting in like some muscle, you know, definition in his chest where his uh, pec muscles are coming out from his armpit. So overall, I like to go ahead and use the C3, you know, the cool three sketch markers because they allow me to get a, a lighter, you know, a light sketch down on the page. And then I can switch back to my Copic, like the C5 markers to put in a darker tone. For example, here I'm putting in his, his air breathing hoses with, with using the C3 marker, the chisel tip in. And then I can kind of use the C5 to put in like a darker shadow you know underneath the area and once again you can see me just using it on the other holes as well now switching back to my C3 I now want to go ahead and start putting in some light like a definition uh, design of these cuts and crevices on his helmet I think he looks cooler with you know a some kind of design on his helmet as opposed to having just a blank dome I think he was like this in like the older uh, Justice, I'm sorry, Super Friends cartoon. But with the uh, design, it allows me to go ahead and be more creative because once I put the design on his helmet, I now can start putting in the highlights on his mask. And for me, this is the coolest part of the drawing. When I can put in these highlights and it, it, inside those dark shadows, and that just makes the drawings just pop off the page a whole lot more. And I'm noticing that I'm putting it on the, you know, um, on the side where the light hits it. So looking at the crevice, I'm only putting it on one side where that light hits it on the corner. And you want to study, you know, the details of like different cars and things like that to see where light hits corners. Like if you open a car door, where is the shine and the highlight on those corners where edges touch each other. And then for his breathing hoses, I want to go ahead and use a pencil to get it down there first and then use my Copic multi-liner inking pens to just go ahead and drop it, those definite lines on there. And then I'm going to repeat that with the design on his neck. I use my pencil to lightly sketch out the design that I want to have on his neck area. And then once I feel like it's great, then I can go ahead and use my Jelly Roll inking pen again and then just fine tune that and make it really pop off the page but you want to make sure that you only use like a light pencil lead when you're putting down your initial designs and then just to make the white even pop more off the page I kind of just put like some black lines next to it just that contrast it makes your drawings just come alive and the viewers eye is drawn more to the page when they see that. 
And then doing the same technique with his uh, breathing tubes going around his, his shoulder area. They're probably not breathing tubes, but it's a cool design that I simply added on him. And then for the eyes, the eyes are the, are the windows to the soul. And so here I'm just using my C3 marker to put in a nice coarse shadow in the middle of his goggles and then leaving a white highlight on there. It's just really cool to just have that feature on your drawings. And there you have it. That's Black Manta. Don't forget to follow my page, like, and subscribe. Until next time, deuces. If you're still struggling with coming up with your own superhero body, grab my free superhero mini course. It'll save you time, effort, and aggravation, and you can draw your own superhero body and impress all your friends.